Hey guys, welcome back to Bix Pops and today we're going to go through some really important stuff. Firstly, we're going to go through this nice box I just got in the mail this morning. And then we're going to go through some important things to note when looking at and buying Pops like how to spot a fake. What's the code on the bottom? What's the differences? All that sort of stuff. Also, I'm going to go through some of the red flags through the buying process and stuff to look out when you're looking and trying to buy Pops and stuff that might just seem a little shady. So. Firstly, we'll start off, as I said, with this nice bit of mail. This was the other one for the Luffy and Darkwing that I was supposed to have coming. It was one day, so I didn't know when it was coming, so I just filmed what I could. could. And uh, yeah, here we go, we'll get into this one. Got some good stuff in here for sure. Alright, so here's this one. I'll open it up here. Alright. So, oh, they're all upside down. This should be interesting then. I've done it right. Here you go. So we'll just pick them out one at a time and I'll show you guys as, I'll have to turn it around, I believe. I'll show you guys. So the first one we got is Jiren. Not sure I understand. So that's the Glow in the Dark exclusive. Beautiful, comes with the Funko Shop sticker, awesome. I'll uh, definitely have to glow him up for you guys, so I'll get that over the screen so you can see him. But that's Jiren, so he's powered up. This is in, obviously, when they're fighting, probably against Goku, most probably, because he's Goku's really the only one to push Jiren to those limits. And, yeah, no, this is a really cool battle, really cool pop, and Jiren is extremely strong. Very crazy. All right, next one, we're going to go... Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. The Spider-Man No Way Home, Tom Holland Spider-Man Unmasked. So that's right at the end. So it should have the uh, Funko sticker in the box, but yeah, that's why it comes with Special Edition. But this is when he's fighting Green Goblin at the end. And uh, yeah, really cool one. Happy with that. I also have another one of those. And that one's my mum's. Both in pretty good nick, honestly. They came double box, so... I'm happy with that. And now, now the chase chances. Here we go. So, first one, we're going to go Darkwing Duck. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ah, another common. We thought so. That's all right. Would have liked the Darkwing Chase, but, you know, sometimes that happens. And Luffy, common. Yeah. There you go, guys. So, that's all that stuff there. Would have been nice to get another chase, but hey, I'm happy. Got these two. And Jiren and Spider-Man, obviously. Happy with those. Alright. So, now we're going to get into some of the things that we're looking for fakes with Pops. So, obviously, these are very popular and are bought around the world. So, some people want to make fakes. And a couple things to look out for. Um, like, for example, this Wednesday Pop, I'll put it up. This one has just had a fake recently made and is very, very, very well done. There's only minimal differences and, you know, you can see them through and mostly it's got to do with slight colorings, um, the box discoloration slightly, like all these different things you need to look out for when looking for fakes. It's really good, obviously, to have the, the actual pop. Let's say you're looking for one of these and, okay, this and you can compare it. But if you don't, it does become a lot harder. So there is a couple other things you should be looking out for as well. Like, for example... With this one and, yep, this one. So, if these were to have fakes made, and usually when they are, a couple things to look out for is especially in the animation word, the M. So, when Funko does its printing, the M doesn't touch the ground. It, like, comes up and meets in the middle. Same thing for movies as well. But on fakes, you'll find, I'll, I'll get a picture up, you'll see that the M comes flush down, meets the line. So, that's one immediate thing to tick off, okay, that is not made by Funko, and that one could be a fake. So, another thing to look out for is also the quality of the figure. So sometimes you'll see, obviously there's little bits of mistakes happen in the manufacturing process with Funko, but overall, they're really good quality in terms of their paint, not having flicks and, and nicks and stuff overall. So if you see, for example, like a Kakashi Anbu chase, that, and I'll get a picture of it, that has like slightly different, you know, colorings to the actual figure and I was lucky that I had a real chase to compare it to 
but you can see the nose and the eyes, all this different stuff is just not lining up. The different things don't line up, especially when you compare it to the box as well. And that's another thing to look out for. So, sometimes these fakes will either have fake barcodes or none at all, or no codes or anything at all. And what I'm talking about with that belongs on the bottom of every box. Every box has something in some form or way to tell you, hey, this is the date it was made, this is made by Funko, etc. And so you'll see all different types of ones, I'll get them over the screen, but with the sticker, you'll see that some of the older pops, like made around 2000 and, you know, before 2018, 2019 type of stuff, they have a sticker. And some will also just have a code printed on the bottom of the box as well. I'll have to bring that one up. What's this one here? Yep, in this one, I'll bring it out of the box and I'll show you, has a code imprinted on it. Now this one here, right down the bottom, you can see the code is imprinted on the box. Cool. One thing you guys want to note is the last one, two, three, four, five, yep, five numbers. Let me check on this one too. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so five or six, depending on the day. And the reason that it's five or six is because sometimes dates are done with, instead of using a zero, seven, you just do seven. So this, for example, the last five digits on the Spider-Man is 22307. So that means this was made the 7th of March, 2022. The last number is your day. The, and the first number in the grouping at the end is the year. So that's a quick way to tell what year it was made. So you can tell if it was an OG model that was made in say 2014, or if it's a reproduction, or if it's been re remade in 2022. We do see types of stuff like that all the time. So that doesn't mean it's a fake. It could just be a newer model. And sometimes that can dictate value too. So when you're going through your collections, make sure to check that sort of stuff, like the dates, make sure they're real. And also check that, hey, they could be an OG and that could also help the value. For example, with an OG Luffy that has a particularly different gloss on his hair and stuff, but especially the biggest difference is the bottom of the box has a different number so you can tell what year it's from. And that one is worth drastically more than the one that just came out like last year. That's the exact same model, but they just remade it, put, put more out because people wanted them. So that's something to think about guys when you're looking through your own collection. So yeah, just quickly guys, I did just remember another couple things to remember when looking for pops and, and how to spot fakes is one is the number down the bottom corner. Like I'll get example, a scream ghost face pop. That's the one that I'll, I'll put that over the top as well. That's the one that a lot of people can notice the differences of. It has a number. And another thing to focus on, is actually the borders around the figure. See how thin and crisp and cut and clean and very nice edge that is. That's how you can also tell if it's a fake or if it's real because a lot of the fake ones have really, really thick outline borders and I can put a picture up for you guys as well, but that's just a couple other things I had to remember off the top of my head. Now, when we're going through and buying, there's a couple things I guess you gotta look out for. One thing is having a time stamp. And basically what that, is, or a date stamp. And basically what that is is to say, you have your name, you prove that you are, who you are, who you are, and what day or time that you're taking this picture on. It's almost like when someone, you want to prove you're real and you hold up today's newspaper. That's essentially the idea. And anyone that doesn't want to do that is automatically red flag. They don't want to prove that they have it. It's really not that hard to just get it, get a sticky note, piece of paper, anything, write your name, put it, photo. If you're trying to sell something especially. So if people just aren't willing to do that, then that's a red flag. Now, some things, sometimes people Photoshop them in. So now you have to look into what's the shadowing and how's it, it's really annoying, but these are all the things you have to look out for. And if they are Photoshopping and it does seem odd, you know, ask for something different and, and see if they have put the exact same photo in the stuff like that as well. So you can just keep trying to ask for very simple things to prove authentication, you know, and uh, if they get really annoyed about it, Hey, don't worry then. It's better to not buy the fake and waste your money, essentially. I'd rather put my money into the right things and I guess sell to people that are more than happy to just show, yep, this is real, I got this, this is the date, etc., whatever. So that's something to look out for. Another thing to look out for, guys, is obviously people that want to go on PayPal, but not just specifically PayPal, the more friends and family side. Now that is, the reason is, is because e PayPal doesn't have big protective statutes in place for friends and family. Because if you're sending money to friends and family, what do you need to dispute money over? Like it's your friend or your family, you're willingly do that. But usually there's a goods and services 
type of um, payment method. And that does have a slight fee to the buyer, but that does set in place the protections, especially, uh, sorry, for the seller, uh, has fees for the seller, but it puts protections in place for the buyer as well in case it is fake or it comes wrong, stuff like that. So if someone's only wanting friends and family, that's a red flag as well, because they could just be wanting to send you a fake or something, and then you, it's gonna be very, very hard to get your money back. So if you're gonna go through PayPal, which is completely fine, goods and services is the way to go. Now, I personally, I use PayPal, but I also use something in Australia that we call PayID. I don't know if it's in other countries in the world, but I know in Australia, obviously, we use it. And that's using either your email or your phone number that's allocated to a particular bank. Now, sometimes there's some scams going on through the email side of it. I don't really like getting into it too much. So sometimes PayPal is the safest if you want that protection. But if you're okay, I guess you've done uh, business with a person before, don't be afraid about pay ID because the payment is instant through OSCO and you know, you, they get your money and then you can get your pop quicker. So that's something to consider. But guys, overall, you wanna make sure that people are trying to take pictures of pops out of protectors. Like I myself have been guilty of it, take a picture just in the protector. But if anyone wanted to see it out of protector, I'm more than willing to take it out. Like if you're interested in it and you need to see closer detail, that's completely fine. So if anyone doesn't want to do that, they're most probably trying to hide some damage from you that they don't want to disclose. Or if they're taking shady pictures and there's, you know, you, all these different stuff you got to look out for guys. Honestly, it's just better to keep your money and try and buy an authentic one from a good seller than trying to get it earlier and getting a fake because you just didn't look through the couple of red flag things to look. And the last thing I'll say about this, if you've done everything, it still looks okay and you're just not sure, ask one of the groups on Facebook. Ask, ask if any, even ask me. Because I know some people as well that are really, really deep into this authentication and they understand the very, very finite differences between a lot of fakes. So. It's never ever a stupid question, especially when there's a lot of money at stake because some of the ones that you're trying to authenticate can be expensive. It's never ever a silly idea to try and ask the question, hey, does anyone know if this is real or if this is fake? And at the end of the day, a lot of people in this community are willing to help. You know what I mean? Like it might be a silly question to some, but just ignore them. Just really, there's a lot of helpful people in the community. So really just focus your time and energy around them. And you know, you're really gonna get through no problems. Like I've, I've met some and, and talked to some good people as well that have helped me. So I don't really have any fakes to show you guys, unfortunately. But um, yeah, basically guys, that's the video. Pretty happy with what we got overall. Got a couple of things I wanted, like the Spider-Man, like the Jiren, and uh, yeah, got another couple Luffy's and, and Darkwing. So thanks for watching guys. That's Bix Pops and uh, we'll see you in the next one.